Yo, yo, yo. It is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here, man. Bring you guys another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Ooh, today's episode, I would say it's kind of it's kind of packed. Uh as far as what we're going to talk about today, what we're going to cover on today's episode, but before we even go ahead and start the episode, dive on in, I gotta say, uh, this episode here <laughs> is uh, sponsored here by our boys at Pure VPN. And uh, for those of you that are looking for a great VPN software, check out Pure VPN. I'll leave my, you know, link in the description for y'all. But as far as the platform itself, it's one that I'm starting to use. Uh, price, ooh, the pricing, folks, it's real nice. They got a seven-day trial uh, that you can do for a dollar. They got the one month, uh, which is about basically about eleven dollars, and then ooh, three years, yeah, 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 three years. Uh, now three years. It could be three dollars thirty three cents, but it's billed every two years. Uh, so basically, total comes out to be about eighty bucks. Eighty bucks for two years on a VPN. Not too shabby. Again, fast and secure internet experience, especially if you're involved in crypto, especially for those U.S. based customers. Again, or anybody that likes just to use a VPN, Pure VPN. Check them out. Um. But uh, as far as today's episode, like I said, we got a big announcement, big, big announcement uh, to whew, the DeFi market finally starting to really tap in into that market. Um, and I'm starting to see that I've been asleep, I've been asleep, probably was, uh, you probably heard me talk about it just a little bit in my last episode, but ooh, Staking, yielding, farming, the DeFi market is totally different, totally different. A lot more opportunities as far as your money goes and to earn and yield more money, just grow your money, money seeds. And then also, too, um, it looks like we might have took another dip, another dip, which I think is the last dip. Uh, before we have another run here, before we probably head off to the crypto winner. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go ahead and, uh, dive on in as far as the announcement goes. Uh, looks like <laughs> we will be relocating, uh, channels will be moving, uh, got an opportunity out here to, uh, basically uh, go to Peru and uh, get some crypto business going as you guys have seen or may have not seen El Salvador here recently uh, decided to go ahead and make Bitcoin basically a legal currency uh, to the point where <laughs> they're going to add it to the reserves and as you guys know when one domino falls the rest fall in the line and I feel like this is going to create a domino effect uh, for other countries um, and you guys know crypto in the overseas market is way way more far advanced uh, they take it seriously especially um, not the fact that they're you can see different economies that are involving the crypto space involving blockchain technology just trying to you know get incorporated because we are eventually going to get to a place where crypto is probably going to be the the lead financial market king whatever you want to call it uh it just makes more sense and again there's ways where you know that wealth gap and all that stuff as far as economics closes in a little bit due to this space but um, for me, it's more so about just 
create more opportunities to be in the crypto space to kind of get out there showcase not only what crypto can do for uh, many people that might want to you know dive into the space but you know i can show off what's done for me and the opportunities brought me because again uh i know most think you know i'm just a trader investor yeah i do mostly all that stuff but there's a lot of other ways in the markets that you can make some money earn some money um there's different platforms that you can use to uh, accumulate monetize and i think with this opportunity it's probably gonna lead to going to other places but god like i said once you get out of the United States, when it comes to crypto, it's just far more advanced. Uh, it's widely more accepted. And, you know, you're just it's more accustomed. And then, again, over there in certain countries, you're not even paying taxes on it, man. And I know that's something that out here, it, it's not fun. It's not fun. Let's be honest. Nobody wants to pay Tax, especially on some of these huge gains um, that we are going to see and that are going to continue. But this Defy world, that mm, it is magnificent. So for me, what I've done lately is uh, look at this pancake swap. I don't know if people have heard of pancake swap and some other swaps like Uniswap. Um, there's other swaps called it, but I think it was banana swap. I mean, this, the DeFi world is, I would say, largely fast. And when you have all these different blockchains that are built and are custom to a fit to this, you know, decentralized finances, and we mean true decentralized finances, you got Ethereum, which, you know, Ethereum blockchain, yes, I want to say that's probably what the first entity that we were kind of introduced to as far as, you know, being able to use these ERC-20 tokens. But I think a lot of people would agree that one of the main issues, uh, especially right now, due to price going to increase these gas fees gas fees are on ethereum very high and they always get high when the coin goes up so that's something that mm, the more and more you get involved into a space the more comfortable you get and as you start to use some of these decentralized exchanges these different blockchains different protocols and all that stuff you'll kind of get the sense of what i mean as far as you know being able to kind of know which is every blockchain you want to operate on, especially because, like I said, we are in this for, you know, making money. But at the same time, when it comes to fees, fees on the network, uh, you know, some blockchains are higher than others. And, I mean, Bitcoin's, like, Bitcoin's an example of that as well. There's times where, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum... They get really high, but once you want to use it or transfer it, it's going to be those network fees kind of make it rethink your decision. You're like, uh, do I really want to transfer it just for the fact that, you know what, some of these fees are kind of high and I'm like, eh, rather not deal with it. I think that's why, you know, some, uh, cause they're like, you know, Bitcoin F as, you know, reserves that might be money that they might want to not really necessarily want to use just for the fact that these other tokens which like on Binance Smart Chain which the Binance Smart Chain is oh it is really lively um I've been like I said doing a lot of a lot of research as far as just different tokens that are on um Binance's Smart Chain and there's just different tokens that I need to keep my eye out for 
because uh, a lot of these tokens, believe it or not, you know, when you're trading on these some of these dexes and stuff like that, you know, there some of them got some serious volume. And then you can go ahead and you know check out either Coin Market Cap Live Coin Watch to kind of you know really follow the market because that market is totally different um, compared to you know the regular market as far as like just the regular coins that we are accustomed to like the Bitcoins, Ethereum's, Litecoins, BNBs, Links, so on and so forth. We have that market which has its volume, all that stuff, and then you know like I said, you got the the DeFi market, and uh, I think one of the best places to kind of really uh, deep dive and kind of be able to stay involved as far as you know what exchanges are doing well as far as Dex is you know Coin Market Cap. Coin Market Cap is a good place for all the, your analytics as far as you know being able to find. Some of the best dexes to use because again, there are a lot out there, um, and they all got, you know, their differences as far as tokens, uh, as far as farming, yielding. Um, you got to really just kind of figure out, you know, which one if you're gonna be trading. I should say, you know, if you're gonna be trading consistently, you know, you definitely do want to find some good dexes out there and i would say like you got the top 10 which are uniswap uh mdex pancake swap uh we got burger swap sushi swap quit swap one x exchange uh perpetual protocol dodo um, those are like you know at least the top 10s where you do got some nice volume in there so when it comes to being able to trade sell you know, you're not gonna have no problems on these exchanges just for the fact that, you know, there is volume on there. So being able to get that liquid liquidity, it's always nice. And then also too is, you know, when you are using some of these decks and you are trading, the fees even on there are very low. So that's something that, you know, me personally, I always try to keep in mind when I'm either trading or trying to buy some coins off a different, you know, exchange where the case would be is really pay attention to the fees. Now with BNB, you know, their fees, whew, uh, we're talking about anywhere from like, you know, under quarter type fees. Like, you know, you might see the max fee, you might see is like 19, 20 cents, which is not bad to, you know, be able to swap tokens, trade, whatever the case would be. That is not bad. Now, obviously I know there's probably some other coins out there that I need to research and find that have the same concept as far as low fees to transact on the particular blockchain. Because again, tokens, DeFi tokens, like I'm gonna pull up, let me go ahead and pull up the, the DeFi tokens, like the, the tops. Give me one second. All right, so now that I'm looking at the five tokens by market capitalization, this right here gives you an idea of pretty much which coins that you should be just go ahead and put in your back pocket. Now, we'll start off with, like I said, we got Uniswap, uh, which price is down right now. A lot of these are down right now. Like the last seven days, a lot of these are probably down at least minimum down about five uh, percent so we got uniswap chain link <coughs> wrap bitcoin die uh ave maker cake avalanche luna and luna is luna's been doing pretty bad it's it's, it's dipped i would say significantly but it's good. I mean, right now it's at five dollars and sixty-four cents. I remember when Luna was <laughs> close to that twenty-dollar range. Trust me. Um, we got Rune, we got Compound, Year in Finance, Sushi Swap, uh, Synthetic, uh, Bat, 
MDX GRT. GRT is a token that I am watching closely. Uh, BNT, you got Curved Out Tokens, ZRX, UMA, uh, Bakery, or I should say Bakery Token, One Inch Ren, Loop Ring. Uh, and Loop Ring is actually been hearing some some chat some chat about loop ring now we're looking at loop ring right now and the current price right now is what 32 cents and you come here look at the last just you know look at the last we're looking at the last three months and ooh, ooh, the high of high 84 cents and we talking about right now it's at 32 cents um looking for the all-time high right now let me see all-time high for lrc is 89 cents okay so i mean on the year it's still up 300 percent, which ain't too bad Ain't too shabby, I, I wouldn't say. Uh, but let's come back, and there's some other tokens I would say that are under a dollar that I would keep my eye out for. Obviously, BAT is a token that some you guys should definitely be uh, <laughs> collecting right now, and you can make some for free, obviously. Um, GRT, that is another one that I'm going to be keeping my eye out on. Uh, if you look. All time high was two dollars eighty nine cents. Right now it's currently at seventy cents. And um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. I would say for me, <laughs> this looks like a pretty good price range to enter in. Um, I'm just going off of you know what the charts are saying, and as far as you know. You guys have my, heard me before. I like to use that DCA approach. Always buy during the dips, sell during the highs. Now, the lowest that's gotten in the last, like I said, the last nine days, about 59 cents. Uh, so obviously, if you were able to buy in there, get that entry, you're chilling. And then from here on out, you can kind of just, you know, kind of basically wait to see what happens. Um, now, those of you that don't know what GERT is, uh, the graph is a data aggregation and retrieval platform built for the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, this project aims to solve the issues surrounding data retrieval on the Ethereum blockchain as it can be difficult for applications. Uh, Notice the dApps uh, built on Ethereum to retrieve essential data required for apps to function properly. Similar to how Google indexes websites, uh, trolling through all website data to allow users to access it. The graph does a similar job, but on the Ethereum blockchain, the graph indexes the Ethereum network, aggregates all the data it finds, and then makes it available on the graph's marketplace in the form of subgraphs. Almost like how folders of information will be stored on a computer hard drive. Participants of the graph's platform, known as indexers, help to connect the Ethereum blockchain app developers with information stored across the Ethereum network. Check this out, though. Indexers earn rewards for their participation and the four of the graph's native token, GRT, whereas dApp developers who want to access information use the graph platform will pay for the information using the GRT token. Hey, <laughs> imagine this. ICO price, <laughs> guess what it was at? Three cents. Yeah, three cents was at the ICO price. Hello. Um, and their ICO was actually last year in October. Check that out. Um, I'll definitely be adding some to the portfolio. But I'm trying to think, is there any other tokens that you might want to watch out for that are under a dollar? Uh, definitely got to re-up on the Ocean Protocol. Um, I've heard some good things. I think they have like a... I think there's something that's involved with the beach. Um, but yeah, these are all just, you know, 
tokens that you're able to pretty much just buy. And again, when you're in different markets, your opportunities to earn some good profits, they're there. They're all there. Um, but again, what I've noticed so far, at least for my personal take, with some of these different swap exchanges, I guess you could call them, uh, the farming, these pools that they have, where you're basically staking. I think for me, goal right now, at least during this time where, you know, like I said, the market is down, the market is down. Prices are cheap for now, for now. But this is where I think you take advantage, get involved with some of these different farms, pools where you're just simply staking the coin. You don't have to necessarily, you know, provide liquidity, which, you know, that's also risky. But also, too, again, if you're pri- or if you're providing liquidity during these down times, uh, you know, hey, you might be able to uh, hit on those and i've seen you know other people that have you know provide liquidity and they're getting these liquidity tokens and as they're getting tokens um they're also getting those transaction fees from like you know trades and all that stuff so again it's just it all depends on your personal goal for me if i'm able to kind of you know use these different farms where I'm staking and getting more coins of a particular type where that also leads to where I can funnel to other coins where I can just constantly, constantly earn every day. Because again, I've seen seen the videos, seen other people that are literally all they do is, you know, they, they farm, they yield. It's basically in the sense of you know, just being a miner. You know, when you're mining every day, you got all these different GPUs, or you have a mining farm. You know, you're you're simply just getting crypto every day. And with Pancake Swap, which is, I would say, my first uh, kind of like Defy pool that I've delved into. Guys, say I'm impressed so far. Um, right now, what I got about, let's see, right now I got about 23, almost 24K, which is equivalent to about $415 right now, because you guys can see the price is actually going back up, which is good. And that's, ah, that's another thing I like about this. So even though I am staking cake because I'm earning true USD, uh, and the reason why I want to earn true USD is just for the fact that, you know, you don't have to deal with the volatility and you can take advantage of times like this when, you know, prices are down. And, um, since I'm staking cake, as cake goes back up, obviously my cake earnings that I'm staking are going to go up with it too. So I will start to stake some cake to actually earn more cake, but. There are some other platforms uh, that I've been looking into where I might actually be able to, you know, stake on another platform and earn cake as well. Uh, I've been looking to this. What is it called? Let me pull it up here. Like I said, guys, I've been <laughs> when it comes to Defy and all these different farms and pools, I have been deeply diving in. Um, there's this other one called Pancake Bunny. Uh, you know, you can get more cake with Bunny. Not only that, you can earn cake, Bunny, and BNB on one of their pools. There's another pool where you're able to earn cake and Bunny. And, ooh, the type of returns that you're looking at, man, is just, it's insane. It is insane. And also, too, I've seen another one where you can earn uh, rep BNB. So again, when you're, uh, like I said, staking multiple t- 
tokens and you're earning <laughs> multiple tokens, especially these tokens that are either on the Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum blockchain, where it could be, you know, like I said, you can flip flop to whatever you feel like, but being able to earn multiple tokens and all you're doing is staking. That's it. This is probably, I would say, one of the low risk things you can probably do as far as, you know, getting into the crypto space, yada, yada, yada. But this is low risk, high rewards. I mean, you're literally just putting the coin in a stake situation, come back, you earn all these other different tokens. And then from there, you can go and do as you please. You can flip them, hold them. Or you can just reinvest them and earn uh, more. Because, again, these APRs that we're seeing, you know, 200%, 205%, 124%, 84%, 94%. I mean, I mean, what more do you want? Uh, and, you know, Pancake Bunny, they have a Binance Smart Chain pool. And they also have an F pool. Now, the F pool, there's not too much pools going on. But the Binance Smart Chain pool, they got about 22 active pools right now. 22. Uh, you'll be able to earn BNB, F, uh, BTCB, uh, USDT, Binance USD. Uh, I mean, so we're talking about some top coins, top top tokens, I should say. And then you can go ahead and turn around uh, and use these different pairs that they have. You got Cake BNB, uh, BTC BNB, and then you can see like. The fact that I'm able to stake, you know, particularly one coin, or I should say one token, and potentially get back two tokens. I mean, again, the returns, <laughs> you, you're not getting these type of returns anywhere else. Now, as far as the the DeFi market as a whole, these DeFi tokens, again, for me, they just got to be a part of the portfolio. I mean, as you guys see right now, it looks like, we're having a little a little burst right here. I mean, Bitcoin is uh, rising up. Everything's going back into the greens. Looks like it may get interesting here, folks. It really might get interesting. Might be time to go ahead and <laughs> hop onto the market. Because right now, uh, that's the one thing. Right now, what, it's about it's late at night. And looks like I'm seeing a lot of green. A lot of green. And Binance Coins going back up. Binance Coins actually number four. Number four. Cardinals five. I'm surprised Doge is still where it's at, but Solana's going back up. Sheesh. Solana's a project that I think everybody should be watching. Shoot, Solana's up 22% in the last uh, yeah, yeah, 24 hours. This is just wild, wild stuff. Matic. Matic is number 17. Ooh. And Matic is a project that, again, defy earning. Definitely want to do some uh, research on the Polygon uh, blockchain because they got some stuff going on, too. Um, polka dots down, but you know, I see polka dot going back up. Polka dot right now is only at about twenty-one dollars. Remember, I think polka dot got up to well, at least like forty. Uh, so yeah, right now is a whoo. Right now, I would say it's, it's exciting times, just for the fact that we don't know where it's headed as far as this next run, but we know it's going to probably come. And when it hits us, it's going to hit us nice. And hopefully you got your positions all in place because uh, scary times are ahead. And even looking at Tezos, Tezos is like, ooh, Tezos is pretty cheap right now. Pretty cheap. $3.44 for a token that was at, at six dollars not too long ago h bar is doing 
some things that's trying to recover. But it looks like I said, market for the next week or so is going to be just kind of uh, fun to watch to see where we kind of go. Personally, I think that, like I said, right now, if you're not taking advantage of this dip and increasing your position size or just accumulating more tokens or tokens where you can just simply state right now as the run goes back up watch those profits double i mean really the choice is kind of yours guys but crypto it's here to stay the space it's for those that were saying you know oh, it's not getting adopted man that adoption is slowly but surely coming and you know i staked like i said earlier about what 23k right now i'm already if i wanted to i can harvest two cents it's just that quick it's just that quick you know obviously if i had uh, a thousand in here it'd be, it'd be different but you know the apr does fluctuate but i mean right now it's at 70 percent, so i can't really complain um 70 percent is pretty uh pretty nice but ideally i want to get enough where i can go back to staking cake because you know with the cake you do get 123 apy but again like i said i might be staking on Pancake Bunny as well. That that way I'm able to earn some cake and BNB. And I also want to earn some wrap BNB as well. So there's a couple tokens that I'm going to also take note on as far as, you know, what all do I want to earn? Because if I'm able to earn enough of a certain token, at, at least right now during this downtime, I feel like. As we go back up, you know, some of these tokens I'm earning could potentially double, triple, or, you know, anything, anything. All profits are good. Can't complain if you're making money, right? But that's going to really wrap it up as far as this episode goes on. The Crypto Millionaire Jenny, y'all. I hope y'all are in. Join. Appreciate y'all. Tuning in, of course. Again, got a lot in store for you guys. Um, <laughs> I feel like days are going by where it's just like you're always just trying to keep up on what's going on in the crypto space, but sometimes it, it just it's overwhelming. It moves too fast. But if you guys are new to the podcast, I can be heard on Anchor, Breaker, Cost, or Castbox, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and Spotify. So, this journey, like I said, it's it's a journey, but it's looking like it's about to shape into something else, and you guys will be <laughs> there with me to see how this all forms because again things are happening but at the same time for me personally we're close y'all we're close where we gonna have enough in the staking farming yielding side where we can sit back relax and enjoy the market we won't have to necessarily worry about if it's up or if it's down but I feel like personally when it's down, it's more fun because you're buying at cheap prices and then you can sell at the tops. But like I said, I ain't no financial advisor. So things that you hear me discuss and say, hey, man, do your homework, do your due diligence. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you can't lose money. Everything I do is a risk. It is a risk. Investing is risky, but... The money to be made, it's all there. It's all there, especially if you're educated on it. But your boy's going to get on out here. Uh, trying to think. Oh, for the next episode, 
might be uh, discussing some more airdrops for y'all. Um, airdrops have been actually quite nice to me in the last week or so, I should say. And airdrops are just, you know, easy ways to just get get coins, tokens for the F. All you got to do is some tasks, you know, easy stuff like that. And, you know, six months from now, those airdrop tokens could be <laughs> big time winners. Prime example is I think Solana did an airdrop and look where Solana price is at. So, again, just another way to get involved with the space without having to necessarily risk anything. The only thing you're risking is your time. But until next time, y'all, this is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto. You guys have listened to the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Until next time, y'all, take it easy. Peace.